Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, due to the chip control of the United States, domestic high-end chip products have fallen into a difficult stage. Among them, the main reason is that semiconductor equipment manufacturers in Europe, Japan and South Korea abide by the so-called Agreement of the United States and refuse to provide advanced semiconductor equipment to Chinese customers. This move has led to the fact that China has chip design and foundry capabilities but does not have the corresponding equipment and raw materials to produce products. In order to break this situation, Chinese companies such as SMIC began to accelerate the domestic substitution of equipment and the situation that ASML of the Netherlands did not want to see has appeared. It is understood that on May 9th, Zhao Haijun, co-CEO of SMIC, revealed in a telephone recollection of the first quarter that due to the large number of new equipment purchased by the company in the first quarter, during the verification process of chip equipment, it was found that the performance and process performance of the equipment needed to be improved resulting in fluctuations in the yield of foundry products, and the impact is expected to continue for the next four to five months. This news means that SMIC's revenue capacity in the short term will be affected, but it also reflects that the other party is accelerating the application of Chinese domestic equipment. In the long run, it is conducive to domestic semiconductor equipment to break through the neck of the West. For the entire domestic chip industry chain, it is well-deserved good news. It usually takes three to five years to complete the design, production, and verification of a chip device. Among them, the most important reason hindering the iteration of chip equipment is that the wafer factory is unwilling to abandon the existing mature solutions and use spare domestic equipment to complete chip production. Newly designed semiconductor equipment cannot undergo a large number of production verifications which will naturally affect the iteration of the next generation of products and then fall into the vicious circle of equipment development. What SMIC is doing now is exactly what many wafer factories are unwilling to do. That is to actively abandon mature processes and use domestic equipment with immature technology. Through close cooperation with domestic equipment manufacturers, the iteration of domestic semiconductor equipment will be accelerated, and the problem of high-end semiconductor equipment being stuck by the West will be gradually solved. With SMIC adopting domestic equipment, the situation that overseas semiconductor equipment manufacturers, such as ASML, in the Netherlands, do not want to see has officially appeared. According to media reports, the domestic equipment introduced by SMIC this time includes advanced equipment such as chip etching, thin film deposition, and wafer cleaning. At the same time, domestic alternative materials such as domestic photoresist and polishing liquid are also used. 
This covers almost all the equipment in the semiconductor manufacturing process. Relying on the concerted efforts of the local industrial chain, the iteration cycle of chip manufacturing equipment, such as lithography machines, will be greatly shortened, and the problem that advanced equipment such as EUV lithography machines cannot be replaced will be gradually solved. So far, China has achieved many breakthroughs in processes below 7 nanometers in many semiconductor fields. China has been at the forefront of the world in semiconductor equipment, including etching machines and front-end lithography machines. Only EUV lithography machines have not been solved due to the supply of components such as light sources. Most products already have domestic alternatives. The biggest gap between China's domestic equipment and imported products is the production experience. As long as the shortcoming of equipment production experience is made up, more than 90% of domestic chip equipment can be self-sufficient. In summary, SMIC's use of domestic equipment for production is exactly the situation that foreign companies such as ASML are most reluctant to see. The most important reason why the other party is willing to cooperate with the U.S. chip equipment control, is that China does not have similar companies that can pose a threat to the other party. SMIC accelerates the application of domestic equipment and short-term yield fluctuations break the Western stranglehold. Domestic semiconductor equipment iteration speeds up and breakthroughs in key areas, such as lithography machines, are imminent. Once a company of the same type appears, the other party may be more panicked than anyone else. Now that domestic equipment has entered the production stage, let's let the bullet fly for a while to see whether the U.S., and Western positions will remain as firm as before. What do you think about this? Welcome to leave a message and discuss.